Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl High Priestess Amar, back with more tea, back with another read. And we're going to go right in, sage our space, okay? I'm hearing something about taking an opportunity, okay? Take some type of opportunity. But I was being called to give a bonus reading to two of my readings, okay? I don't know if I'm going to do it with the other two, but specifically the air reading and the earth reading. So I'm going to go right in and do sage our space and do a prayer and tap in. Higher power, archangels, ancestors, gods and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and God us with your wisdom. All is forever. Higher power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey of the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Now with that being said, let's tap in. Okay, making sure I didn't think it was on. I thought my camera was off. But y'all, let's go in. I'm going to um, give y'all a bonus reading for that damn earth. I mean, not earth. For that I'm here, fire. For that... um. That that air reading, that air reading, because I was hearing, I heard it specifically. Somebody need confirmation or clarification on on that damn Queen of Swords and that air, that Earth re, that air reading. Somebody could definitely be dealing with the same motherfucker over there in the Earth reading too. Y'all gotta definitely go check it out and go look at that Earth reading. And I just uploaded a, a bonus on with your ancestors definitely connecting here. Um, connected to this the air reading now, but this is a little bit more, um, more back, you know, more of a little bit background on today of what's going on. Like, I could have that earth, that earth reading could definitely be like the history of everything, but this is more like the up to date version. So, like, what's going on up to date? Because y'all could definitely be dealing with the same motherfucker, it's just that. It's, it's different today as, as it was. I'm here as above, so below. So that's very significant. Uh, whatever that's happening, it's, shit, whatever was happening in the 3D, is there, is, it's manifesting now. That's exactly what's happening. Okay, that's very specific. So whatever was happening in the 3D, it's manifesting over to the 5D. Okay. I mean, or is it the other way around? I don't know. If it's the other way around, take however it's made. Whatever's manifesting in it. Because I think it's the, um, whatever's manifesting. Yeah, it's the 3D. Whatever's manifesting in the 3D is happening in the 5D. Let's see. Let's get a little bit of clarification on that air reading. Higher power. What do my family, my air family need to know? Community. We got community out in the verse. So something with the the social norm and practices of the community. Um, now somebody could definitely be Islamic, okay? Are they um or they got some type of up Islamic background or upbringing? It could be Muslim, okay? We got teaching. Some somebody's not inspired or something like something with the social norms of the community something's going on in the community here i don't know if somebody's discriminating against somebody's upbringing beliefs or their spiritual practices or who they are somebody could definitely be trying to come up against you okay but i feel like there's this is a teachable moment here noel no thank you this is a teachable moment here yeah we got sexual energy so We got creativity. Now, I don't know exactly what this is. This could definitely have something to do with somebody doing something out in the community for sexual favors or sexual reasons or preference. This could definitely be an energy that's standing in this sexual energy. That could how they feel towards you. But it's something about the community and something about something you're saying or you're teaching. The upbringing of your um, spiritual practices or something. 
like somebody here they got a problem with your traditions and who the fuck you are and your ancestors and i'm here who do you think you are but i'm not getting like i'm getting somebody trying to mock you or be um something about your um your spiritual inheritance though like your wisdom being passed down for generations and generations somebody don't like that they jealous Okay, because you have a strong knowing of who you are and where you come from. You reunite with your ancestors. It's all about being blind here. Motherfucker can't blind you when you can see. Okay, just period. And especially when you're willing to learn. So I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you could definitely be looking into your, who you are, where you come from. And somebody's intimidated by that. Give me community. What's this community in reverse? Or this could be a community of people who are, is threatened, okay, of some type of knowledge of some sort. So somebody that you deal with, this could have been in your recent past here, is intimidated, okay? You could have a family with this person. Are there some type of family generation? Well, they could be they could be intimidated by, like I said, your upbringing, your um. So this is a community that you just ran into recently. You could have been dealing with somebody who was in a specific community or something, uh, some type of surrounding. They don't, they don't like who you are, or what you stand for, or what you say, or something like that. They don't, they discriminate against you in some kind of way. Um, and and you know, I'm getting like your nationality, okay? Because you got, we got the ten of cups. That's that's talking about a generation. That's talking about a family. That's talking about a household here. And like I'm, I'm, I'm getting like your bloodline. You're gifted with wealth and gold and jewels. Okay, you're definitely inherit you inheriting wis inheriting wisdom here. You're inheriting your earth angel abilities here. You inherited this shit. So somebody, somebody here, it sound like jealousy. You could be dealing with a community or some people who you inherited some type of spiritual beliefs or practices from your ancestors who've been passing this shit down to you. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all got to really thank y'all ancestors, bro. Like, our ancestors really saved us, like, in today's society. Because that intuition, that being that being that poivet, that, 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 um, being that pivot, that being on point, that intuition, man, saved a lot of people. Or right? definitely could be saving you. Something you, you learned or something you developed, you learned this in the nick of time before something traumatic happened to you. And this was on purpose because... Your ancestors was handing you this knowledge. It was time for you to be awakened to who you truly are and where you come from. And somebody here, it's a community. This could definitely be like a church that's like really fucking pressed about it or mad about it. Okay, you recently met, ran into these people. We got a king of wands coming out in revert, I mean, upside down. So this could definitely have something to do with a king of wands. This could have something to do with your masculine here. Are they met a king of wands? They could definitely met a... Um, for some of y'all, you're dealing with, there's another masculine here that can feel some type of way. Because that King of Wands dropped out again. Somebody's healed. Okay, maybe there's two King of Wands here. There there could definitely have been a masculine that was involved in this, this community, this group here, that, that has some type of beliefs. Uh, what you should believe in, what you should not believe in, or things like that. Like, they could definitely discriminate against you or your people or some kind of way or your ancestors. Now, for some of y'all, you were passed down something that this community is mad about. Like, this right to ownership, to be at peace, or this, this right of knowing. Um, like, it's like your abilities are very heightened, and it's like a community that's threatened by that. But I'm, I'm not getting, like, a community that resonates with you. Like, I'm not saying, like, you know, spirituality is about being individual, individually owned, like, but also coming together with your soul tribes, okay? But I'm getting, I'm talking to somebody who, um, that's completely outside of it. Like, they might not, this could be a church here. I bet this is a church, this community. And not saying, like... You know, church people, a lot of them do that, but they have their own religious beliefs and traditions of how they do things, right? But then we got, look, the Queen of Wands coming out here. Somebody was married to somebody. Somebody could even have a family with somebody. Somebody's not liking this Queen of Wands here. Somebody does not feel like this is an angelic presence. This person is not healed. That's how you see this person. They're not in high honor. They're not healed. 
they resonate with this community or this society okay you're coming out of illusions about this person okay you're seeing things very clear it's, it's this person is really a queen of swords now you're seeing this person this could definitely resonate with the queen of swords you're seeing this person as that queen of swords reading if you want to go check out the first air reading i did aquarius people gemini uh when i was talking about it, it was mostly about that damn queen of swords in reverse but she wasn't coming out in a reverse at first she was coming out in the upright so i feel like with this person coming out in reverse you feel this person as you view this person as deranged or psychotic in some kind of way like you you don't understand nothing that they be talking about their beliefs and none of it makes sense to you but it's not supposed to that's because you guys are different here you could definitely marry somebody that's outside of your ethnic ethnicity okay like they upbringing is not the same as yours and they could have known that shit they could this could definitely have something to do with manipulation i was getting a queen of swords being very strategic y'all we got the moon here now give me one second okay i gotta use it Okay, I'm back. So somebody here definitely dealing with somebody who they could have definitely been strategically attacking somebody on purpose. This was orchestrated. Somebody looked into your background. Somebody had access to somebody's birth charts in their records is what this is giving me. Okay, this person is unhealed, unbalanced. This is how you see, you view this character. You view them as a character. You know, they don't even, uh, like I said, you can definitely go check out that first um air reading with the 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 queen of swords energy in that one yeah there's a confession being taught to you through some type of teaching something's coming out here okay you could be teaching yourself and then it's in um it's broadening your perspective so that you're getting more familiar with um your backgrounds upbringings or like you know the people and things around you why things happen and why why they should happen you know where exactly this shit is coming from okay because it ain't just out of nowhere now sometimes motherfuckers do be doing stuff they attack people and they have no idea why they're attacking them but some of some of that stuff is divinely orchestrated somebody's grandmother or somebody's great great grandmother you know been doing this shit for years type of thing spiritually attacking people that's why a lot of times when you're gifted you're a spiritualist it definitely will spark your interest when you run into uh, not spark your interest but spark your awakening when you run into somebody like that it's a part of your awakening because it's time for you to get connected it's time for you to tap in um with the ten of swords here yeah this is a brutal ending though something you're learning about this brutal ending here is why you see somebody as his queen of swords in reverse What you didn't see, though, is what you're being taught now. So whatever you didn't see is a, the spiritual torment. Whatever you didn't, maybe something didn't make it to how big and monumental that it could have been. But what what you're being taught now, what you're being taught about this Queen of Swords energy is definitely um, helping you. It's helping you. It's preventing a future event. I'm getting like a collision. There could definitely have been a car crash or an accident somebody was trying to predict into your future or manifest in your future for you. Okay, somebody was definitely trying to um, have you in your head or some type of term oil. You. you didn't see that you was going to have to be in all this agony and pain and suffering when dealing with this person here. There was some type of inconsistency okay this can have something to do with investments this can have something to do with like national like nature like um in nature like something that would come usually at a, come on noel something that would come um natural to you something wasn't flowing the right way I'm also getting like somebody here could have had, you know, been inconsistent with 
with um being involved with the empress here they could definitely been you know downplaying the connection or something like that for another another connection um and this could have something to do with some type of investment or exchange of some sort but i feel like somebody's facing judgment now this is your judgment whoever needs to hear this for turning away some type of offer here your spiritual your ancestors had to call judgment on you okay because of um now this definitely do have something to do with those earth readings go check those earth readings out this is all connected whether you're earth sign you're dealing with an air sign or your air sign dealing with an earth sign um take how everything all right it could definitely be both in your chart here but this definitely does have something to do with rivalry or offense being defensive or defensive me mechanisms Okay, meaning like somebody once they first laid their eyes on you, they already knew or sought you after, um, sought after you for attack. Somebody is definitely being guarded towards this sexual or these sexual urges. Okay, because this could definitely have, or this is you, you're being guarded towards these sexual urges that somebody's trying to push or portray on you. Yeah, somebody has their guard up. Okay, you could know about somebody's sexual behaviors or their habits. Uh, what they do in the dark when they're not when you're not around okay i'm also getting like with this sexual energy somebody could be like a, uh you know a prostitute or something like we got an empress here and we got secrets so this empress could definitely be somebody that's they could be pregnant they could be young or somebody has a secret about an empress. Somebody could want to be with an empress, okay? And they're keeping that close to them. They're keeping that a secret. Yeah, somebody's going to be moving into common waters. They're realizing this. Somebody got some type of realization. So somebody is definitely turning somebody down. Look, this is balance. Somebody is turning somebody down because they like, no, nah, I'm going to be with my empress. What you mean? I don't want none of you. I'm here in my goodie. My goodies, not my goodies. Somebody like, nah, you ain't getting none of this good daddy nectar or something like that. Some nickname that it came up with. You ain't getting none of this good daddy long legs or something. <laughs> they said, you ain't getting none of that. Nah, -uh. They said, no, I'm saving myself for my empress. Nah, somebody definitely was inconsistent, okay? But they are... They're on the right path now. Somebody's definitely on the right path. They're healing. They're being defensive against it. They're healing their root chakra, their sacral chakra. Somebody's getting ready for this giving and receiving here. This is going to be something big, bro. This is going to be like a ceremony. Like, your ancestors are going to come together. Like, they're going to cry. They're going to be so happy. Okay, this is really, truly justice here for somebody. Coming out of confusion, coming out of this anxiety. Are being in your head, feeling like you just don't feel home with somebody. That's because that's not home. Home is where the heart is, and heart is where the ancestors lay, okay? Because why? That's where you're going to feel comfortable at, mostly in your skin. You ain't never been at somebody else's house. It don't even matter if they house nasty, clean, or whatever. You ain't never been at somebody else's house, and you just could not spend a night there or stay there. It's like, this is not home, though. I know where home is. Home it's at home in my bed. That's where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? I want to be at home. You know, your bed, yo, your bed nice and comfortable or whatever, but it's time to go home. Okay? Because that's your nature. That's your that's your surroundings. That's what you created for your um, atmosphere. It's like your... It's like your comfort zone. Just period, point blank. Okay? This was a little bit short, but I feel like somebody needed confirmation here. This is the truth, though. Everything that you're hearing about and learning about is true. Look, home. Numbers 44. Somebody could definitely be a divine master in here. So this was just a little confirmation for you, really. I don't even think I really need to say anything else. Look, pathway. You're on a right journey here to your pathway. And I feel like it's a lot of people that's talking about this in this room, um, a family room. It's a discussion that's being held here about some type of message or message that be will be received. Okay? But take it, have it resonate. I really do hope this video helped you guys. I know it's kind of short, but I just feel like your ancestors really wanted you to see and have confirmation. And then I talked a lot in that earth reading. So definitely go check out that earth reading with more um, specifics on why this Queen of Swords was attacking you. 
And for some of y'all, it's the Queen of Swords and it's her mother and why they were doing this shit, right? You need to go look at that, okay, if this resonates with you. But definitely hit that thumbs up, okay? Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you're updated when there's new videos. I love you guys, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Send the love and light. Till next time, peace, love, and prosperity, family. Bye.